good morning friends and welcome to this webinar webinar on cloud computing linux server administration and windows server administration okay so this is not one pack and this is not one course actually this is a package in which we have three different courses okay server administration that is linux and the windows server administration as well as our amazon web services that is your cloud computing First of all, very sorry for the delay. Actually, I was in some other session, so it took some time for me to close that session. Very sorry for the delay. So hopefully every day we'll start the class exactly at our, just a second, please. Yeah, so exactly at our time, okay? Fine, so like you know, this is a webinar. Okay, so we will be recording this webinar. Not only webinar, actually, each and every session will be recorded here, friends. And all the recordings will be shared with you. Okay, so the best advantage you can take in a live session is you have you should have the option of interacting with the trainer. Okay, you're getting all the recordings. That's for sure. You're getting the material. You're getting a lot of other stuff there. But, you know, always try to interact with your trainer whenever you have whenever you are in the live session okay so how you can interact with me here there are two options one is you have the chat box here i'll just say hello here hopefully every, everyone can see my message say hello so you can just interact with me through chat box so whenever you have any doubts and your questions or queries in the chat box i'll come to your questions or queries at the earliest okay once i see your message i'll come to your message there or if you want to talk to me directly at the end of the session, you can simply unmute yourself and you can talk to me directly. This option is also available. But in the middle of the session, please try to avoid using your, you know, earphones or please avoid using your voice messages so that, you know, the sessions will be recorded. And uh, if you're sending me messages in chat box, the sessions will be more organized. But at the end of the session, if you want to talk to me directly, then we can have that option also. Okay, so all the options are available with you, chat box is with you, as well as, you know, the muting and unmuting option is with you. Not only for today, till the end of our course, the chat box will be open for sure, my friend. Okay, now. Let us see very, you know, basics of Red Hat, Windows Server and the AWS. Why exactly these courses are so much in demand? Especially when you talk about Linux server administration and cloud computing, as you know, these courses are demand in for last, you know, many years, right? Especially if you go with Red Hat and Windows servers, if you go in 1990s, from 1990s till today, and for many more years to come and many more decades to come, actually, these servers will be in demand for sure. If you are planning to go into like server administration, you have to go with these two servers. If you are planning to go with, let's say, uh, cloud computing, DevOps or cyber security or let's say programming or some other things, you have to again go with these two server administration courses, especially the Linux server administration. Every person, every person should know this particular Linux server administration. Okay. And in case if you are planning to go with your cloud computing career, like cloud, or let's say after cloud DevOps, or let's say within cloud security, cloud security or cyber security, then the go-to course is Amazon Web Services. Okay, so let us try to explore all the other options what we have after completing this Red Hat Linux Server Administration and the Amazon Web Services. Okay, so I'll take around 30 to 40 minute session today, and then we can have some, you know, question answer sessions and we can interact with each other. Then let's see what we can do from tomorrow. I'll just try to like, you know, put the complete package in front of you so that you'll be, you'll have the perfect idea, like what you can expect from me. Okay. Okay. I already got a question here. Like why this course, who will go for this actually? Okay. This is an excellent question. So let me just go through all the details here. I just want to make some changes here. One of the change here is okay, fine. See here, friends. Before we see what is this course or what is this package law or who should learn this course or who should go with this particular package and all those things, let me just introduce myself here. See, I'm Shikil Aman here. I have 14 plus years of experience in this IT industry. 
okay i have experience on different domains like windows servers in networking i have ccna ccnp cci i have done all these things actually okay i have experience on linux server administration virtualization security that is your firewalls and all the other security things okay and then for last six seven years actually i'm working on this cloud i'm just you know dealing with this cloud computing concept so this is my experience friends 14 15 plus years of experience means obviously you do many things here right it's not like you are struck with a particular thing no and you know linux or windows or network or uh, uh, what is it like security virtualization all these things are related with one particular path only one particular field only it's not like i have done something in programming then i have done something in multimedia then i have done something in let's say accounts and then i did something in server no whatever things are written there in my you know career in my whatever things i have done in my career they all are related with each other cloud computing is related with linux linux is related with networks network is related with security security is related with virtualization so they all are connected with each other okay now when I did my cloud computing, when I started my cloud computing around eight, nine years before, actually, you know, cloud computing was very easy for me. You know why? Because before I started cloud computing, I have already completed my Linux server administration. I have already completed my, you know, Windows server administration. I have already completed my network administration and all those things, right? So in this cloud computing, actually, we have certain modules where we will be learning about linux servers we have some modules where we are learning about the networking part we have certain modules where we are learning about security we have modules where we are learning about windows servers we have modules where we are learning about virtualization so cloud computing is a technology my friend where we have modules related to different other technologies so cloud computing is not a new thing okay as a technology, maybe it is a new thing, but within the cloud computing, we have technologies which were already there from 1980s and 1970s and 1990s. Okay, so we have taken these technologies and we have made a, in a new option that is called cloud. Okay, so we have storage here, we have database, we have network, we have server, we have security, we have firewall, we have all these things in cloud computing, my friend. Okay, this makes cloud computing more interesting and more in demand actually. We are not dealing only with one particular, you know, uh, domain here. Within cloud, we have like different domains. So when you learn cloud computing, obviously we need to learn cloud computing in, you know, different, uh, we need to learn the different modules. But, you know, once you get a job in cloud computing, my friend, probably you'll be working on any one module. Okay. Okay. I'll come to this in great detail second. But as of now, as of now, this is my experience. Done. Now. Just give me a second, please. Okay, so now let us go through the package first. Like, you know, there is a package. We have started this package especially for Diwali. And in this package, we are offering three things. Amazon Web Services, that is your cloud computing course, Linux Server Administration, and Windows Server Administration. These are the three courses we are offering your friends, and all the three courses will be taken care by me. I'll be handling, I'll be taking all the three courses. Amazon Web Services and the Linux Server Administration will be live classes every day, okay? And Windows Server Administration, I will share some recorded classes with you. My recorded classes, I'll share with you. So will it be okay to go with recorded classes? Of course, yes. You know how things will work here is when you go with your a when you go with your Linux server administration in Linux, you'll be learning about let's say. Okay, I got one more question here from Yogesh. Okay, Yogesh, I'll come to all your questions within like next fifteen to twenty minutes. Let me just you know go through all the pattern, all this you know package and all the other things. Then I'll come to your questions. Okay. Okay, so. The question was, can, is it okay if I go with a Windows Server Administration recorded classes? Answer is yes. The reason is, you will be coming in Linux Server Administration live classes, right? So, in Linux Server Administration, you will be learning about user management, group management, file permissions, process management, disk management. You'll be learning about all these different options or all the different services which are there in Linux. 
Now, once you go to Windows Server, my friend, in Windows Server also, we have the user management, group management, file management, process management, data management, all these things will be there. So once you've done the Linux Server Administration with me in, in a live session, if you go with the Windows Server Administration, most of the theoretical parts will be same. You just need to go with the practical. So it will not be difficult for you to go with the Windows Server Administration recorded classes. Anyhow, in case if you still have any doubt in Windows Server Administration, when you go with the recorded classes, I'll share my mail ID with you and I'll share my WhatsApp number with you. So at any given time, you can get in touch with me. I'll clear all your doubts. Okay, within like next two, three days, I'll be sharing all my details like WhatsApp number and the mail ID so that whenever you have any doubt while practicing or before going to interviews, or let's say you already got a job, you still have some confusion there. At, at any time, you can simply get in touch with me on my WhatsApp number. Fine. So Windows sessions will be only recorded sessions here. Fine. Now let us try to concentrate more on AWS and the Linux server administration. The duration is, let's say, two months, 30 days. Okay. But if you come parallelly, let's say two classes in a day, within two months, you can easily complete your AWS as well as your Linux server administration, my friend. That is more than possible. Within next two months, you can complete. In January 2025, you will be ready to face interviews anywhere across the globe on cloud computing as well as on the Linux server administration. Okay, so I repeat, in January 2025, you can face interviews anywhere across the globe on Windows Server Administration or Linux Server Administration or the Amazon Web Services. That is on cloud computing. Okay, done. That is about your package. And you know, this is, like I said, your Diwali offer. So for this Diwali offer only, we are offering this package in 699. This is not the actual fees, actually. Mm, this is only for the Diwali offer, 699. Fine. Done. So this is about me and this is about the package. Okay. So let us try to address some very important questions that I'll get in every demo session. So I've just selected some questions there. Probably these are the questions you may have. Okay. So I'll be addressing these questions and then let us see what we can do. Now, one of the very common questions I'll get every time in every demo or every webinar is what are the pre-requirements to learn Linux and AWS? What are the pre-requirements to learn Linux and AWS? And the answer is there are absolutely no pre-requirements. The only pre-requirement is you need to have a computer with an internet connection. That's it. If you have a computer with an internet connection, you're 100% eligible to learn Windows servers, Linux servers, and Amazon Web Services. Job done. Okay. Now, who should learn Linux and AWS? Who are the people who are eligible for this actually? See, a person with any bachelor's or master's degree, it doesn't matter if you're having a BCom degree or a BA degree or BE. Okay, if you're having a engineering degree in mechanical or civil, okay, if you are from MBA HR and MBA marketing background, it doesn't matter. If you're interested in starting a career in this, you know, excellent administration field in this IT field, you just need to have any bachelor's or master's degree, then you can, you know, learn this. Okay. And in case if you're interested in cloud computing, you are at the right place. If you're interested in DevOps, cyber security, server administration, you're at the right place. This is the place from where you can start your career. I repeat, server administration, network administration, Cloud computing, DevOps, cybersecurity, ethical hacking, for all these things, you need to start your career or you need to start learning from Linux servers and AWS. Okay. Now, suppose in case someone is a developer, someone is a programmer, someone into coding and all those things. Okay. Someone into like database. Someone is sub suppose trying to learn some other technologies like say artificial intelligence or blockchain or, you know, some other things. For all these people also, my friend, Amazon Web Service is indeed mandatory. You should know how things are working on cloud because if you're related to some other technology, let us say programming, you know, in every demo of mine or most of the demos, actually, I'll get people, they will say we are working as a programmer, a Python developer or a Java developer and so and so. And this is like their company is asking them to go and learn the cloud computing. 
they're not learning from their own will actually see if someone is a developer why should they learn some other thing right they're more than happy with that particular work but you know their company is asking them to go and learn cloud computing especially aws the reason is you should know how things are running on cloud because at the end of the day as a developer or as a programmer you will be working on a platform you will be working on a server you will be you know testing each and everything on a server so where is that server available it is available on cloud so if you are coming from any xyz background also it is mandatory for you to learn cloud computing my friend got it if you are interested in making a career in cloud computing then there is no if and but you have to start from here but what i'm saying here if you are coming from some other background still you need to have cloud computing added in your resume okay <clears throat> now way to apply for jobs let's say you have completed cloud computing and linux server administration so where will you apply for jobs once you complete your cloud computing and linux server administration you can apply for jobs in literally any company you know normally people feel we can apply for jobs in let's say uh, some multinational companies or let's say some it companies okay fine we can apply for jobs in all those companies but what I'm saying here is, beside these companies, whatever company you know, let's say if there is a shopping mall, for example, in shopping mall also we have servers and they are connected to cloud. Maybe they are not connected in such a big scale, but still they need server administrators here. In hospitals also we have like networks. So literally you can apply for a job in any XYZ company. Any company where they are connected to the internet, they need people like you and me. Got it? So... Anyone can learn cloud computing and Linux server administration. Okay. Everyone should learn cloud computing and Linux server administration. Okay. Way to apply for jobs. Anywhere we can apply for jobs. So these are some of the very big questions. Hopefully are cleared right now. Okay. Let us move to the next question. And that is how to do practice. So these are practical oriented courses. Linux server administration. We have to do practice. Windows Server Administration practice, Amazon Web Services practice. So these are practical based questions. Okay, so how to do practice here, friends? To do practice, like I said, you just need to have a computer and an internet connection. For AWS, there is a different way of practicals. For Linux, there is a different way of practicals. And for Windows, again, there is a different way of practical. So all the practicals you can do in your home by sitting on your laptop or a desktop. I'll explain you how to start the practicals and how to do all the other practicals. Done? Now, what to learn in Linux and AWS is again a very big question. There are many things there actually in Linux Server Administration and Windows Server Administration in Linux and the AWS, there are many things. But what exactly we need to learn? Say, so this is my package. This is a package that you can see and this is what we are going to learn in our complete course curriculum. Let me just highlight something here. For example, you know, file and directory permission. You simply cannot show me a company, my friend, where the file permission or the directory permission is not there. You know, security is obviously the backbone of any computer network, right? Without securing your data, without securing, securing your servers, we cannot secure our business. So whether it is Amazon Web Services or Linux servers or Windows servers, security will be one of the top things that we are learning, my friend. So when I say file permission and directory permission, let's say you're facing an interview in January 2025. The first, second or third question can be from this file permission and directory permission. So they will ask you how you are sharing file with users, how you can protect your file, how we can, you know, uh, minimize the file permission sharing. Within like starting two, three questions, this question will come for sure. So we are preparing ourselves for interviews. We are preparing ourselves for jobs. Okay. See, we are learning this many things. Actually, when you see the complete package, we are learning many things here. But you know, my friend, let's say you got a job in, uh, uh, let's say as a cloud administrator, you got a job in cloud computing. You are learning many things, but you know, once you get a job in cloud computing, you will be learning either network or security. You'll be working on either the network ACL or the security group. Means, let us say there is a server there. Who should connect to this particular server? Who should access this particular server? Who should not be 
given permission to access this particular server from what ip address this server should be accessible what ip address should be denied this is again what this is again security so since linux we are learning security and in cloud also we are learning security so once you get a job as a linux administrator you are learning many things before you get a job but once you get a job maybe your responsibility is on file and folder permission you are learning many things in cloud but once you get a job in cloud your responsibility will be security groups or network access control list so this is the way your career will move actually initially you have to learn many things but practically when you work in a company my friend your responsibility will be there on one or two services as a fresher maybe one service but if you are going with like two to three years of experience you may get two services or let's say three services as your responsibility so linux servers and the cloud computing is not a single person role this is a teamwork within a team there are many people and every person has their own responsibility so as a fresher across the globe as a 2 3 years of experience person across the globe the roles and responsibilities will be same if you just make a call to your friend who is working somewhere in dubai or london or uk or australia or europe or any other place across the globe and if you ask that person okay you are working as a cloud administrator i am working as a cloud administrator in india so tell me what is your responsibility in dubai or what is your responsibility in usa or what is your responsibility in australia you know what they what these people will do they will say the same thing what you do actually in india in an indian company got it so we need to learn our technology in such a way that you know we need to start our career first right see i always say this whatever is there in the technology everything is not needed for us everything should not be learned i'll take a very simple example here friends you know this is ms office i think everyone knows how to use ms office they can go to home and they can use all these options here right they can use these options each and every option what is here they can go to insert and they can do something there they can go to design and they can do something there but if i ask you a question do you know everything about ms office i know the answer the answer is no how many of you know like what to do somewhere here or how many of you know like what to do somewhere here how many of you know what to do somewhere here you know maybe basic things but do we need to know each and everything there answer is no same logic my friend same logic okay whenever you learn any technology you need to learn a technology as a fresher or up to like 2 to 3 years of experience how much they need that much you need to learn see actually we are learning more than that here but i'm just trying to make things very easy for you you should not put lot of burden on yourself you know normally people feel oh this is a technology this is cloud computing this is linux this is windows server how can i learn whether i can learn or not whether i can work or not this is you know my friend one of the most logical things you can learn on a computer cloud computing and linux server administration are the most logical things you can learn it will be very okay actually it is my responsibility to present things in such a way that you feel like oh fine this is excellent concept i know this concept i understood this concept i can do this practicals if i get a opportunity in a company i can do work on this particular service after two days again there will be a new service my responsibility will be to present that service in such a way that you will feel okay again done i understood this concept i can work on this particular concept so presenting the concept is my responsibility the only thing you should do from your side is you should be here in every session every day every session you should present here i don't think there is anything in this particular you know course curriculum that you feel like oh it is very difficult to understand no nothing my friend hmm? see for example cloud watch one of the most important service we have in aws is cloud watch you know what we do in cloud watch in cloud watch it is a monitoring service we will simply monitor what is happening inside our cloud computing and by using this monitoring services we can simply you know work in more efficient way we can work in better way so if i take one or two examples about cloud computing things will be very easy for you to understand okay so i'm just trying to make things more easier for you friends cloud computing linux server administration and windows server administration is very you know a logical course a logical technology it is obviously in demand for many years and it will be it will remain in demand forever 
I don't think there is any solution or there is any other alternate option on servers beside Windows and Linux servers. Nothing. Hmm? I don't think there is a better cloud technology than AWS. AWS is actually the number one cloud technology. Got it? So if you're interested in this particular career, you are at a very right place. Okay. You can start your career from very basic and you can go up to the advanced level. I'll be starting every service from zero. Every service from scratch level. There are services related to storage, networking, servers, database, hmm, security, virtual servers. So whatever services we'll be starting there, my friend, we'll be starting each and everything from zero level. From the scratch level, then we'll go up to the advanced level. Got it? So these are the three major things we were supposed to see today. Obviously, my introduction is much more needed because, you know, you should know what you can expect from me. Right. So my introduction was this and this is the package details. OK. And these are some of the very common questions I get. Hopefully these questions helped you a lot now in understanding like, you know, what is this particular AWS or what is this Linux server administration and where it can take you. So whatever is your dream, my friend, maybe someone is dreaming of becoming a cyber security expert. Maybe someone is trying to become a cloud computing expert. Maybe someone is planning to go with the Linux server administration. Maybe someone is planning to go with DevOps. For each one of you, my friend, this is the first day of your journey. This is the beginning of your journey. Okay, fine. Let me just take some questions. Actually, there are many questions I got in the chat box. Okay, why this course? Who will go for this? I hope the question is and uh, the question is answered here, Yogesh. So. This course is for everyone who is planning to start the career in the IT field, especially in the administration. And why this course? Because you simply cannot see computer networks without these three things. You cannot imagine internet without cloud computing, Linux and Windows servers, my friend. You cannot imagine technology beside without these three things. Okay. Now, how this course will be helpful for me? Like I'm a backend developer and a DevOps guy. Uh, see, if you're a backup de back end developer and a DevOps guy, if you say like you're a DevOps guy, you should know this very well, my friend. Without, you know, Linux, you cannot do anything in DevOps or you cannot do anything as a developer because at the end of the day, you have to do some testing there. Yeah, you're testing something, you're executing some commands, you're, you know, enabling some, you're, uh, you're, you're designing some scripts there. You do many different activities, right? So where you do all these activities, obviously on a server. You do all these activities on a server. If you don't have a server, if you don't, don't know how to connect to a server, if you don't know how to access a server, you don't know how the Linux server is working, then you know, my friend, you cannot do any of these things there. Okay. Now, one more question. Uh, hi, it's only beginners or experienced users also can learn. See, if you are a fresher or up to like three years of experience, my friend, this course is designed in such a way that, you know, this course will be helpful for each and every person, not only for beginners. If you are having some experience, still you are more than eligible to go with this course because when we start a particular module, like I said, I'll start from basics and I'll take you to the advanced level. So this course will be helpful for every person who is a fresher, who is coming from any XYZ background up to like three years of experience. Okay. Now, one more question is there, are you supporting AWS practice certification? Uh, I think you're asking about your examination, right, Ravi? Is it your question? Yeah, if that is your question, you know, my friend, writing the certification is the easiest thing you can do. I know people are very much interested in writing the certification because if you are in some other country, especially like UK or some, some other European country, or USA, Canada, Australia, or somewhere in Gulf or Singapore, in these places, you know, certification is in a way mandatory. In India, it is not that much compulsory, but still, if you know, the, if you have the certification, that is well and good. But you know, my friend, just go and check the people who have already completed certification, how they did certification. You know, certification is actually the easiest thing you can do in your courses, whether it is AWS or Windows or any other IT examination. Examination is the easiest. But why or how it is easiest? Let me just tell you. 
for example let us say you have four approximately 400 questions and answers and if you prepare this 400 questions and answers and when you go to examination let's say you are getting approximately 60 questions and what if all the 60 questions are coming from your 400 questions that means what i'm saying here is today if i say these are the 400 questions take these 400 questions from a particular place so if you take the 400 questions these are obviously multiple choice questions actually these are not like our school days remember school days we need to write a complete answer like if someone is asking you about let's say tell something about let's let us say bhagat singh so what we need to do we need to write about like at least like two pages about the freedom fighter bhagat singh right that was the examination in school but now here it is only about the multiple choice questions multiple choice were also available in school but it was like only two three multiple choice questions or let's say five multiple choice questions but remaining all the questions we need to write down the answer so in our online examination my friend it will be multiple choice questions so if i say these are the 400 multiple choice questions available take this 400 multiple choice questions and when you go to examination out of this 400 multiple choice questions only 60 questions will come you know examination is actually for one hour 20 minutes that is two hours you know most of the people they finish examination within 50 to 60 minutes because they already know the questions and answers they have already prepared these questions and answers for like say 10 days 15 days 20 days or a month and then we went for the examination so when they went for the examination from the same 400 set of questions we got 60 questions this is your examination so don't worry about examination, my friend. I always say this, don't worry about the examination. Examination is the easiest thing you can do. The main thing here actually is your learning. Certificate can take you up to the interview. Certification will not take you the job. Certification will not bring you the job. Your understanding of the technology will bring you the job. I repeat, how much you understood that particular technology. That particular understanding will get you the job. So whether it is Amazon Web Services or Linux Server Administration or anything that you do in your career, you should understand that particular technology. Components will test you how much you understood. If they are asking you a question in an Indian interview, the same question will come in Dubai, same question will come in UK, same question will come in USA, same question will come somewhere in Brazil or China or Germany or anywhere. So there are certain things where we need to concentrate more so that you know we can crack our interview easily but you know after cracking the interview remember what i said the work is the easiest thing examination is easy and the most easy is actually the job that you do because in the job what you do what you learn in your course that is what you do there practically right and you're learning many services there but when you work in a company you'll be working only on only on some selected services, two services, one service, or let's say three service. That's not an issue. I always say this: learning is the main thing. If you know how to learn, if you know how to do certain work, that's it. Like for example, if you know how to fly an airplane, while learning how to fly the airplane was not easy, right? Forgot about airplane. Remember sky skill, by skill. When we started learning our by skill, it was not easy. Right? It was only a bicycle. There was no engine there. There was no gear. It was only a brake and a pandil there, right? But still, it was a bit difficult for us to learn. But remember those guys, those days when we were kids, once we know how to ride, once we know how to like, you know, ride the bicycle, it was too fun, right, to ride the particular bicycle because we know how to do it. So if you know how to do it, remaining everything will be settled out for sure. So in this particular regular online classes, our main intention is to learn how to work, to learn about a particular technology, theoretically, practically, theoretically, practically. This is what we have to learn, my friend. So uh, my request as an experienced person to you is, whenever you learn, wherever you learn, with whom you learn, it's a different thing. Okay, it's a completely different question. If you are interested in cloud computing, DevOps, cyber security, these are like, you know, very top, top technologies which are in more demand, right? Server administration, cloud computing, DevOps, and cybersecurity. If you are interested in any one of these things, my friend, 
you are at the right place today is your demo session today is your first introduction session from tomorrow when we start our classes we are simply talking about like what i have to do tomorrow and what i can do after 10 days what i can do after like 20 days and within like next six months where i can be within of like two years where i can be within of like five years how much i'll be earning within after seven years let us say where will my career be career will be moving so we'll be simply going in this particular path. So what I'm trying to say here is, if you've already decided to go with this particular technology, you have selected an excellent technology, my friend. You have selected an excellent career. Where you learn, when you learn, with whom you learn, it's a different thing. But just try to stick to this particular technology. It will take you to great heights, okay? And coming to the examination, interviews, and all those things, each and everything is secondary. But as of now, the first thing should be in your mind is what we need to learn. What about this particular technology? How we can learn this technology? Theoretically, how we can understand it? And practically, how we can do this? If you can learn this technology, done. You'll be in more demand. So, for example, if someone is having a Mercedes or an Audi car, what they will do? Will they take a person who is a fresher? Or will they bring a person and will they teach him how to drive and will they hire him as a driver? No. They will look for a person who is already a driver, right? Who already knows how to drive, who has a license, who knows how to drive a car. That is about Mercedes and Audi. Well, let's say we have a car, let's say Ma Swift. You know, Maruti Swift is that which we can get in 10 lakh or 12 lakh rupees. So if someone is having 10 to 12 lakh rupees car and if that person is hiring a driver, what he will do? He will go with the same pattern, right? He will look for a person who knows how to drive the car. He will not look for a person who will who, who, who is coming to his home and is teaching him like how to drive the car, then he is hiring him. No. So whether it is a 10 lakh rupees car or whether it is a you know 80 lakh rupees car, a person is looking for the owner is looking for a driver who knows how to drive the car. So whether it is a small company or the biggest company, my friend, a company is looking for a person who knows how to work on this particular technology. And how to work on this technology? We need to learn in our package. We need to learn in our class. So I am the person who will be handling all these three technologies here, friends. Like I said, you Amazon Web Services, Linux Server Administration, as well as Windows Server Administration. Amazon Web Services and Linux Server Administration will be live classes. Every day, one hour, one hour, 15 minutes classes will be there. And once we finish this, you will be in a position to face interviews in any company across the globe, either on servers or either on Linux. Okay. So if you are a fresher, more than welcome. If you are an experienced person, more than welcome for this particular course, my friend. Okay. Let me just tell you one more thing before I take more questions from you. Actually, I have already started this particular course, AWS course at... Uh, uh, 9 uh, a.m. 9 a.m. India Standard Time. So what I'll do now is I'm starting this particular new class at 10 a.m. I'm starting at what time? I'm starting at 10 a.m. So this week, that is from Monday, I'll start from 10 a.m. till 11, 11, 15, 11, 30, whatever. Then you know what I'll do? Let me just, you know, put things very clear in front of you so that you will not get any confusion. Tomorrow 11th, this week I'll be starting the classes exactly at 10 a.m. Exactly at what time? Exactly at 10 a.m. Okay. So 11th till 16th. Next week I'll take classes till Saturday. I'll cover all the things that I've already covered to the 9 a.m. batch. Okay. So next week I'll be in a position where my 10 a.m. batch and 9 a.m. batch students will be at the same place. Okay. So after the next week, that is from 18th of November, you can see the time date here, 18th of November, my class will come, my class will start at 9 a.m. So for you people who, who are interested in coming from tomorrow, you should come tomorrow at 10 a.m. Next week, completely at 10 a.m. And then the second week, you will be joining with the previous people at 9 a.m. Okay, so then the AWS batch will finish at 9 a.m. only. And coming to the Linux administration class, 
parallelly we will start this particular class before our aws class or after the aws class so within next two months you will be completed with your aws linux as well as your windows server administration so by the time you enter in january 2025 new year new opportunities okay hopefully you are ready to face interviews in any company across the globe my friend okay but coming to this batch i hope you understood the scenario here next week that is from tomorrow we are coming at 10 a.m india standard time but after that we'll be coming regularly at 9 a.m india standard time already some people are coming in the 9 a.m batch so i just want to club you with them but i have already completed some topics to them so i can just keep them on hold for like a couple of days so that i can take some people from this batch and i can add them in that batch so more people means more questions will be there more scenarios we can see okay if more questions are coming from you like you know chat box is always open here friends so if i'm getting more questions from you it will be like you know much interested session okay fine so this was something that we have to see okay there is a question here how about market for only linux administration please and my friend you simply cannot see a company, medium to big level company, where there is no Linux server. So if you are interested only in the Linux server administration, great, you can make a good career in that Linux administration. But you know, my friend, with this Linux administration, you should have some more things in your resume. If you are adding Linux server administration and the AWS on your resume, then only your resume will get a lot of, inter lot of you know, uh, your, your resume will be in more demand in a way. If someone is interested in only Linux server administration, okay, they can learn. But you know, if 100 people are applying for a job on Linux server administration, 99 people will mention Linux plus AWS in their resume. You will be the only one person who will be mentioning only the Linux administration. So today we are living in a time where we call it as, you know, multitasking time, right? But you know, friends, Linux and AWS are not completely different paths. They will be related with each other. There are many things you will see in AWS. There are many things, many similar things you will see in the Linux administration also. So my friendly suggestion here is, instead of going only with AWS or only with the Linux, if you can go with both the courses, that will be great for you, great for your career. Anyhow, money-wise, if I can say, if you go only with the Linux administration, there will be, the fees for the Linux administration is 5,000. If you want to go only with the Windows administration, 5,000. If you want to go only with the AWS, again, 5,000. But if you're coming in package, only 7,000, see, 50%. That's the Diwali offer. So that's a better advantage, right? Money-wise also, that's a better advantage. And uh, fees-wise also, that is a bit better advantage. And the technology-wise, you will be learning multiple technologies there. So that will be more advantage for you when you go for an interview. In case if you're applying for a job on Linux administration, and let's say the job is already taken by some other person, but you know, your resume is so attractive that the company will still try to hire you because if not on Linux, they can put you on Windows Server or they can put you on the AWS Web Services. This is the advantage you have, my friend. Like, you know, in our cricketing terminologies, we say all-rounders, right? People who can bat and ball, these people are in more demands compared to people who can do only one thing. Right? Like, you know, if you talk about Kapil Dev, how many people are there in India who can ball and bite like Kapil Dev? Remember Kapil Dev? We were not born actually when he won this 1983 World Cup, right? So, if you are having multiple technologies with you, that will always be a great advantage for you, my friend. Got it? So, my friendly suggestion is, if you are interested, go with the package. Go with this complete package. Don't go and select a particular course there. And in case if you don't have any time, you'll be getting the recorded sessions there, right? Each and every class is recorded there and each and every class will be shared with you. You are getting all the recorded classes. So if you are attending only live Linux classes, you can go with the AWS recorded classes. Or if you're coming only for the AWS recorded classes for some reason, then you can go with your Linux and the Windows Server recorded classes. So in whatever way you see, my friend, that will be advantage for you so this particular package is designed so well if you're a fresher if you're interested in linux if you're in interested in cloud devops cyber security or if you already have some experience up to like two three years of experience this particular package is there for each and every person my friend 
You just need to decide what you have to do in your career. And like I said to you, my friendly suggestion, if you have decided to go with cloud as your career, Linux as your career, DevOps as your career, cybersecurity as your career, I just want to say one thing. You have taken a great decision for yourself, my friend. When you learn, where you learn, with whom you learn, again, that's a different thing. But if you have decided to go with these three, uh, the, uh, out of these four, if you have decided to go with anyone, then your career is excellent. A new technology like artificial intelligence also will not make much difference to this particular four technologies. Like, you know, artificial intelligence, people will always say, like, you know, it will take jobs coming to our forces like cloud or, you know, DevOps or cybersecurity. Artificial intelligence can help us a lot in enhancing our work. It will not take our job for sure, but it can improve our work. Hmm? That is what I can say here. Okay, thanks a lot, friends. Thanks a lot for coming today. Sunday is not a good day or an easy day to come, actually. Okay, so thanks a lot. And probably tomorrow at 10 a.m. Ten a.m. I'll be starting my AWS class tomorrow. Will be the first class actually. Monday, Tuesday classes will be free for sure. And let's see what we can do from after that. Whatever people who come tomorrow and after tomorrow, the link will be free. You can simply come and uh, you know attend the class. And in case if you feel comfortable, if you feel like you know I'm able to present things in the easiest and the best way, you can continue with the sessions by you know taking the paid link. Exactly, Ravi. Whatever things are related with AI, they, it will play a very important role. In our career also, it will play a very important role. But what I'm trying to say here is AI will not snatch my job for sure. AI will simply help me in working in a better way. Especially the technologies, what I said, AI will help me a lot in working in a better way. But it will not take my job for sure. This is one of the advantages we have in cloud or, you know, the servers and all these things. Okay, so hopefully we'll meet again tomorrow at 10 a.m. India Standard Time with our first class. Okay, I'm still here for you for at least a couple of minutes. If you have any questions or doubts, feel free to send your questions in the chat box. Or if you want to talk to me directly, unmute yourself and you can simply interact with me directly now. Okay, fine. So I guess that's it for the day. I guess there are no more questions here. Yeah, Prashant, thanks. Thanks for coming, actually. Thanks for joining the session. Hope to see you again tomorrow at same time, 10 a.m. India Standard Time with more details of cloud and servers and many more things. Okay. So I just want to say one thing. Take care and probably we'll meet again tomorrow with more details of cloud. And before I sign off, just try to, like, you know, take this career seriously. This career can take you to great heights, financial wise, job stability and security wise. You know, nowadays we need to have this stability in our job also, right? Within like three months or six months or a year or two, no one should say like, okay, you're no more needed. No, we are the people who are needed in every company, literally in every company, we are the people who are needed. Okay, any company, every company means a company with any sort of business. Okay, so we are the people who are in always in great demand. Okay, so yeah, that's it, my friend. That's it for the day. Yeah, they will share the link with you, Prashant. I think they have already shared the details with you in the chat box. You can just go through there. Yeah, content uh, link is there. Okay, I'm sharing the same link again. Yeah, same MS Word file, it will be here. I'm sharing this link again. So the same content you will get there. Okay. Okay, fine. So that's it, friends. That's it for the day. We'll meet again tomorrow at same time, 10 a.m. in the Sunday time. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye.